Hey, or welcome back to another video. So I'm sitting on the floor. This is these are probably my favourite videos to film, especially this one because it is holiday themed. So I'm going away, it's now Tuesday, I'm going away on Saturday. Um, me and my boyfriend are going to the Amalfi Coast for a little getaway holiday. Um, we're going for, I think it's about 10 days in the end. 10 days we're going for and we're going to like a few spots along the coast. Um, so yeah, but I'll explain all of that like when I'm there um but this is just like a little kind of pack with me holiday video to show you some of the stuff I'm taking um yeah because I know it's well it's the first of June tomorrow so a lot of people have got holidays booked um so yeah you might want some inspiration I'll show you everything I'm packing but obviously some of it I um always re-wear things so some of it's old you might not be able to get your hands on it but I do have stuff that's like from new in collections for a lot of shops um so this is a real mix of brands as well and hopefully the lighting's okay I basically have like these kind of curtains where they're like shutters and um I was just filming a reel because I wanted to film a reel as well for my Instagram just showing a few outfits I like that I got um, so this is like the real deal because you're seeing everything on here whereas the real just shows like four outfits but what I was going to say is I am my balcony my window my bedroom is like completely one walls or windows and it's very overlooked so when the curtains are open like there are about a good 12 different flats that can see into my flat um, which isn't ideal so I have to keep shutting the curtains stripping down and I was like showing bikinis and stuff like that so for the purpose of my dignity and for all the parental guidelines on youtube i won't try on any of the bikinis but i will insert pictures of what they look like on i might try some of them on because i took some videos in some so i'll put the videos in and pictures and we can go from there but i think for my dignity because now my neighbors see me strip off so many times i won't try on the bikinis but i will show you them now this is actually also i picked up well because i wanted to film this haul i picked up a few things from um h&m i wanted to go in there to see if they had like any like cover-ups or soft shorts and i went in there found a white cover-up which is all i wanted Pardon me, and then i found some soft shorts a big t-shirt because i was like last time we went away sometimes when you go down to the beach it's quite nice especially if you're feeling a bit full bloated you're not having feeling that confident it's nice to be able to just chuck on a t-shirt with some like denim shorts and then obviously like strip off when you get to the beach but it's just a bit more like comfy so i kind of thought this would be like a good it's really long and quite big this is a small but like i've got these hard leggings on and i thought this would be a really nice travel outfit with the black leggings and this top and we have we're actually staying in an airbnb whilst we're there so well, two airbnbs we're staying in and they both have washing machines so i'm kind of like i can wear things more than once but let's go through the swimwear quickly whilst i'm sitting down and then we'll do a try on haul right so i think i have all of them here um yeah there are some back at home in essex but i'm meeting my mum tomorrow she's bringing some up for me bless her because yeah obviously i didn't bring all my bikinis to london because when would i need a bikini but i'm not gonna have time to go home before i go away so first of all i got some stuff from white fox boutique because everyone used to well everyone raves about their bikinis but personally there's one that i really like but personally, I do not think it is worth it because it cost me £60 in custom, like, taxes, like, when they arrived. And I spent £140 on two bikinis and one pair of bottoms. I think it was, like, £125. So, all in all, I spent £180. I'm really ashamed. £180 on three, basically, three bikinis. And it's not worth it. Honestly, you'll see the size of these things they are tiny so i actually think i've got the bottoms on for one of them because i was just trying like i said i was trying them on so this is like the thing i'm not stripping off but the bottoms for those ones are really small um but like i said i was just trying them on so that's the top um and getting a real so the bottoms i've got on now 
it's the top that goes with them so it's like a bandeau top but it's got like strings hold on you can like tie it up around your neck like cross it over you'll see in the reel because i'm wearing it in the reel i'll insert a picture here but um yeah i literally love this pass i think it's super cute and like colorful colorful and fun i don't think this is like most supportive bra and i've got quite small boobs and it makes my boobs look even smaller which i didn't think was possible but it is super cute and the bikini bottoms fit like a glove but they are cheeky they're like a thong bottom which i know is not for everyone i've got also so i don't offend anyone i've got like a slightly pair of bigger bottoms i've got this crinkle bikini from weekday um which goes with jesus christ where's the top which goes with this little top which i think is super cute and just really easy to um um really easy to just like wear on a day-to-day -day basis you could literally wear with the denim shorts the only thing i would say um these were actually sent to me so i'll put my link down below they are affiliate but only for the weekday stuff um just to let you know disclaimer but the one thing i would say is it's not like it's like an off-white color but it looks like it's like a gray kind of greeny color i don't know if the light does it justice but it kind of looks like you you know when you go in the sea with a white bikini and it slowly gets dirty or you've like put it in with your blacks it kind of looks like that but i still think it's really nice and in the reel again i'll put in pictures i you paired it with this kind of like sarong scarf from h&m this was like 5.99 so definitely worth it it's quite a big one in comparison to like the normal kind of sarong size but i think that's kind of great you can wear it well i wouldn't wear it like that but sometimes when you go like at, they're actually like um cathedrals and stuff like that and you have to cover your shoulders so it's good to have something like this and you can make it into like a dress because it's a bit bigger not that i really do that i'll just make it into a skirt but yeah you get my idea okay on to the next one so as well as that i also got this little white cover up which is more cut into like a, that's the label it's wrong shape again i'll insert a photo here um from h&m and this was 5.99 again which is kind of shambles that piece of material but it is good at the same time and then next bikini i wore this last year when we went to mallorca um this is from pretty gosh pretty little thing i don't actually shop from pretty little things it's actually just given to me um tiny little bottoms but a lovely blue color and it comes with this bra i think you have to buy them separately but it comes with this bra like underwiring kind of thing yeah that's how small my boobs are no shame okay on with the stuff i got from white fox as well i'm getting a bit this if anyone wants it i can have it because when i first tried it on i'm gonna try again but my boobs didn't fit in it how cute is that detailing though it's kind of like a milkmaid white bikini top but like i said my nipples just the cups are just tiny the way they sit they sit like this and then it's like my nipples like here um and there's no way of like tightening it to hoik them up um also from white fox this little just a white classic kind of thong bottom they're not too thongy right that's the back yeah that's the back that you can't tell the difference between the back and the front so that's the back and then this is the front and it's just got the little white fox logo so just i was like i can mix and match that with other bikinis like wear the blue pretty little thing top of it and then to go with the top that didn't fit my nipples in i've got these bikini bottoms now these are skimpy these ones because you can like ruch this together and then literally there's only a slip hanging out but they are great for tanning in so no shame i will be wearing those to the beach but again you can't tell the difference between the back and the front it's got the little logo um italian men are gonna be staring at my ass but i don't care i have no shame um and then last thing i bought from white fox which i did get three whole bikinis it's just this classic kind of pink triangle bikini that you can obviously i think triangle bikinis are great like since everyone showed that hack last year and different ways you can tie it and stuff like that it's just yeah nice to have a triangle bikini i thought this was a really fun pink color super cute okay we're still going i've got a lot of swimmer but probably got a bit carried away but i'm there for 10 days um then i got this 
again I will put a picture on the screen because I put this on my reel I got this um, blue swimming costume like with cutouts at the side from weekday it's, I think this is absolutely gorgeous and um, when I tried it on I loved it even more so it's literally got a tie across the back and obviously that's the pants so they're just sagging down um, but the bum coverage is perfect like it kind of goes up the bum a bit and you can I think it looks quite big there but when I put it on it goes up the bum quite a bit and you could pull it up more if you were tanning but then also put it down like I think it's very appropriate this very appropriate and I think we're gonna go to a beach club one day so maybe I'll wear that but last year when we were in Mallorca and we went to beach club for a day I wore this swimming costume which I absolutely love I shared on my story last year um this is from Misguided and again it's like a black cutout swimming costume so it's like one shoulder and then the pants and it's super flattering but it's just not good for tanning in like I burnt that day and I had like a line a red line across there I never burnt which is so unfortunate but yes I can't wait to get a tan I'm so pasty I'm so excited honestly sorry I'm so I'm rambling if you don't want to listen to me talk about swimwear then just skip forward to the haul but today I have had the most unproductive day because obviously we only have a three day week this week and I have so much I need to get done especially like content wise for brands I want to do before I go away like recipes stuff like that but I'm just in holiday mode like I'm in holiday mode so I'm just thinking about packing like, I want to pack now I want to go tomorrow like get me to the sun it was hailing and thunderstorming in London today anyway red swimming costume again if I wanted to be a bit saucy but I don't really like swimming costumes because I don't really tan in them but I take them because I don't know about anyone else sorry I'm talking at the speed of light I talk so quickly I don't know about anyone else but I um what was I gonna say I overpack I'm an overpacker like 100% like I'm going I'm going somewhere for four days if I get a suitcase anyway like if you take me on a city break I will literally pack like three outfits fold them up really neatly in a bag so we don't have to pay for a suitcase but if I'm going somewhere like we're getting a hold bag like we've got 23 kg you best believe that I will pack about 20 different outfits and I will only wear two of them or I'll just like live in the same two bikinis and like a beach cover up a week so and then I've got this bikini that's from Pretty Love Thing. This is really tiny, my boobs, my little nap bites, but super cute. And then the pants are pretty slutty, but you know, we're here for it. Oh gosh, I'm going away with my boyfriend. I can be slutty, but he doesn't really care about that. Like, I think if I just, like, he's not one to be like, oh, put your ass away. Like, well, that's a bit revealing. I was at home the other day and we have a pool at home, like at my family home, and he was there and my sister was like, Hannah, you can't wear that because our friends were coming over. And I was like, why not? And she was like, it's just, I can see everything. And like, he was just sitting there, he didn't really care. He was like, no, I think you look nice. I was like, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, these are the bottoms again. They're like those scrunch up ones. You can kind of, are really adjustable, which is nice. If you're a bit bloated, you just loosen up the sides, you know? Um, and then... This is again a pretty little thing. I think this was in Molly May's collection. And there was a matching overshirt, which wasn't available, sadly. But this is the tops, and I didn't get the bottoms because they didn't have them my size. And then I also have this just simple, again, triangle, tiny, from Misguided. So yeah, that is all my swimwear. Okay, other things that I picked up from H&M. I also did a little order on H&M the other day, but there's a H&M really near me, like where I live in London. So I do just pop in there sometimes. When I went in there this morning, like I said, I got way too much stuff. So other things I got, I got these shoes. I'm not sure how I feel about them, like, because when I wear sliders, I'm like, do I look like an idiot? But these would just be super comfortable for walking around, and, like sticking on and just gonna match everything. Like I said, my mum's bringing me up some stuff tomorrow, bless her. Um, so, and she's got some of my sandals and stuff like that. So there's not many shoes in this haul. Summer shoes. I also got, which I'm in love with, from Weekday. Thank you, Weekday. Is this little bag. It's like a kind of like a, just a, well, it's a saddle bag. But it's got like this crochet round it. Super simple. Adorable. Will match lots. It's like an off-white, so won't match everything because next to those shoes it looks a bit but still absolutely stunning 
let's try on some dresses. Right, I know how you should normally save the best to last, but this is honestly my favorite thing that I've bought in ages. This is a little satin red, like red number from Zara. Let me adjust the camera so you can, there you go, you see more of it now. I think it's super flattering. The way that it's got this cut out, I actually think it makes you look so much more like curvy, or like curvier. Um, but yeah, and then it's got like a completely open back, so it's very like low. Um, so you can wear like two high waisted pants with it. But I just think this is stunning. Like we're going to a really nice restaurant one night, so it's just like nice to get dressed up. To be fair, I've got quite a few like dressy dresses. But I think this is very like a beach dressy, like it's not like super fancy, but this is very cute. And it's very me, I think. It's like very fun. Like I'm not super formal person anyway. But yeah, so this is probably one of my favourite items out of this whole haul. This is available in Zara currently, and I think it comes in another colour as well. But I think the other colour is pink, like it's a baby pink. Um, so yeah, but we'll start, we're starting with the summer dresses. So this is number one. I've got about four, I'm only going to show four dresses because I've got quite a few, but some of them are quite old. But I'll show you the four that are in at the moment so you can get your hands on them. Oh, how pretty. Next up is another Zara number because we all know Zara just pulls through with the dresses. Um, this one, like, let me just make sure my boobs don't go for that. It's very booby. Like, oh god, that is actually my nipple. Like, it definitely like hoiks them up, but because my boobs are like quite far apart, it just kind of gapes in the middle. So it's not the most supported in that area, but I still think it's super cute. Like, I love the pattern. Um, and it's got again like a little open back because it's really cute and you can tie it up. Um, yeah, like another dinner number, like you could just wear this with some trainers or you could wear it with some black strappy heels. Like, I think you could work around this. So, yeah, here's the person a bit closer, but like I said, the boob bit it does gape in the middle as well. Which I think if you were to lean over, one would have to be careful, but yeah. How very cute. Would recommend. I think this was about £22.99, so not bad. Oh, look at my new rings as well. This one's Monica Bernada, and then it's also Monica Bernada. I'll link them down below because I'm a bit obsessed with Monica Bernada at the moment. My necklace, I normally have a pendant one, but I took it off earlier because when I was working out, it was like hitting me in the face. So, but I love that one too. So, this one is a bit more. So I'm trying to tuck in the little like hanging straps so you get the full idea. This one is a bit more of like a beach kind of cover up. As you can see, you might be able to see that you can see my bikini bottom through this. The only thing is I don't think it doesn't really like hold my waist in that much, which isn't a problem, but I just think it makes me look very wide and like broader than I am. But I think it's still quite cute. This is from Pull and Bear. And the back's like quite nice, a little open. And like I said, I think like if you have like bikini straps like around your neck it's just like yeah it's just like to chuck on it crochet it's got like this lining underneath as well um and it's very comfy and very like airy so you could be like walking around with some trainers but have a bikini like if you were exploring i think if you're going for like a coastal walk this is nice because you can throw it on it looks nice but then like it wouldn't be weird to have a bikini underneath it so yeah and then it's just got like a tie at the back very cute and i've still got the tab on it because i was really debating it Oh, I don't have the price. I want to say this was 19.99 though, which I was kind of like, I would wear it, so I don't think it's bad to keep it. I was like, oh, do I get the money back? But I think this is cute. So yeah, I have another one from Pull and Bear, so let's put that on. Okay, this is Pull and Bear um, outfit number two. I don't know if I need to make it looser around the top, but again, it's like kind of like crochet, like knitted material. Um, and it's like this green and white but I just don't know how if this shape's that flattering for my boobs because like I said my boobs are very like far apart they need to be more like Bleh. um but nevertheless I think it's super cute open back again I just thought it'd be great for like I said exploring um it's very cute like little day dress I like if we're going for a nice lunch but you don't want to be like super dressy so yeah and I think this was like 22.99 so it actually is small, but I think I could have gone for medium because I don't know if you can see the height, the length of that. 
but it's quite short and I saw the medium straw and I held it up against myself and I was like oh that looks like it'd fit but I'll get a small because I'm normally just a small and everything and I've got the small one because I'm like I should have got the medium but oh well okay so this is obviously the bikini top I showed you earlier I think for me it's better when I like crisscross them over like this because then it kind of holds my boobs up a bit more but you can wear it obviously like this as like a more bandeau top and I think you're gonna get some pretty good tan lines from this and then I've got these little toweling kind of material shorts from that I picked up from H&M uh, just like loose shorts super easy to like chuck on at the beach um, and then I will show you some cover-ups I got first up always the classic white shirt this one is from I saw it first this was actually part of a paid partnership obviously this video is not and these are great for like just chucking on like tying up always look cute in pictures oh god boob hanging out um yeah so with me i'll take this over shirt and then i have another one which low-key if i wanted to do pink on pink this is a very like bold colorful outfit oh gosh but i have this pink one from misguided that i got last year but i'm pretty convinced they still sell it and it doesn't actually really well match that crazy yeah so i have this which again, like I said, are really helpful. We are going on like a boat trip one day. Um, we have like a private boat, which is so exciting. Um, and I'm gonna do that and go around the coast. So stuff like this is nice. If my shoulders have just had enough of the heat. Like I said, I'm not packing today. So it'd be great to like, I don't have my suitcase currently. Um, I was using one of Zach's and I haven't got it yet. But annoyingly, I was I'd literally pack everything away with you to show you everything that I'm taking, but I just want to show you like the staple things that I know are definitely, definitely coming. So these blue shorts, they're like Zara's classic Bermuda denim shorts. These will always come everywhere with me. I wear them every summer, although they're actually a bit big around the waist now, which is surprising because I definitely gained a bit of weight. But you know, we'll take that. It's just redistributing. Um, and yeah, even this is a cute outfit. I do really like this bikini top. And obviously it literally just goes straight across at the back. Wow. So I feel like I've forgotten quite a lot of stuff, but I feel like that is that is the bulk of it. Um, I also got some claw clips from H&M, this really cute orange colour. I'll have some like caps and stuff that I'll be taking away with me. Like I said, it's annoying that I'm not packing now, but I really don't want to pull everything out to put it all back away again because there is not much storage in my room. So getting everything away in some kind of cupboard space is pretty hard for me. This is kind of lopsided. Not my life, I've been lopsided the whole time wow um but yeah so that is the bulk of things i'm excited to wear whilst i'm away obviously you will see so many photos when i'm away um i do like an alpha picture every day or like put it on my story at least um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up um and i'll link all the items that i talk about below um yeah i'm just so excited to go away bye